Hello friends and fans of EVGA, and today I've got an exciting unboxing for you. This is the Z390 Dark Motherboard. Now, you may have seen some press on this already. Uh, we showed this last month at CES, um, but uh, we have them available. Uh, many customers are already loving these things, but we want to do a bit of an unboxing for you guys to show you what makes the Z390 Dark um, such a cool motherboard, because I don't think... Um, you really know just by looking at it exactly what this board is for. Some people do know that this is a uh, overclocking focused motherboard. Pure and simple, that is what this board is for. It is not meant to be flashy. That's why we have the dark moniker on it. It's kind of anti-RGB, if you will. Uh, this is the motherboard designed to get the absolute most out of the Z390 platform. So let's go ahead and cut into this. I already took the plastic off because um, it didn't show well on camera. And uh, I'll show you some of the stuff that comes inside as well. So here it is. Um, as ever, with uh, most EVJ products, you get one of our beautiful little case badges right there. Uh, we have some standoffs. There's actually, and I'll show you that when we get in here, quick start guide, um, there is a PCB. Uh, included in here. Uh, basically, it's a test bench. So you can test bench this thing without installing it in your motherboard um, with the included hardware that we give you. Uh, we first did that on the X299 Dark and we're continuing that with Z390 Dark. Um, customers really seem to like it, so it's a cool feature. Um, you have SLI bridge. Uh, this little connector, I don't know how much that shows up on camera there, um, but this is what's called a probit connector. Uh, there are two headers on the motherboard for probit. Um, it, it gives really fine control and really fine monitoring over um, various voltages on the motherboard. Uh, it does have built-in Wi-Fi, so there are some Wi-Fi antennas included. Um, this is nice as well. We've moved away from a driver disc, uh, and now we include the... Z390 series includes this USB, um, so very convenient if you need to get uh, to your manual and to your drivers, it's right there with the motherboard. Uh, of course, your I.O. shield. Now let's get to the real motherboard itself here. All right, now here is the motherboard itself. As I said, there is a test bench stand, so let's pull that out and take a look here. Uh, basically, this is the same PCB that's used in, in the production of the motherboard. Just gently open that. You can see that. Really cool. Um, you know, shows you exactly how um, this motherboard is kind of produced um, and gives you a better idea of exactly the layout of everything. Uh, we'll go into that a little bit more when I show you the full board. Um, but this comes with standoffs. So you can put your board right on top of it. It's a great test stand. Um, so we do include that in the box. And the motherboard itself. And you'll see a uh, very, very heavy uh, black influence here, the dark. Um, there's also kind of a copper gold effect that we go for as well. That's kind of the, the style that we have on here. Uh, I'm gonna leave the, the protective coverings on here for now, um, but uh, you'll see some photos of this here soon, just so I don't get my fingerprints all over it. Uh, one thing to see on this that's really cool, uh, we have the 24 pin and both eight pins are on the right side of the motherboard in most case configurations um, that is very unusual um, basically it's it's for the best possible cable management they're 90 degrees so your cables come right off the edge uh, into your case but in a way that um, you know just hides them really nicely most cases will have grommets that lets you route that very nicely um, so that's why we did that um, you've got your SATAs here uh, six of these SATAs are going to be from the Intel uh, chipset itself, um, but actually there are two that are on an as-media um, add-in chip, 
Uh, the cool thing about that is, is it actually gives support, uh, limited support for older legacy OSs. So if you want to run Windows XP, uh, we don't intend that to really be like a daily driver scenario. Uh, it's mostly for uh, older benchmarks, especially um, if you're talking, you're trying to test your, your CPU overclock. Um, there's some, uh, I believe uh, Pi in particular runs really well in Windows XP. There's a few other legacy ones and they need that support to do those, those, those kind of extreme overclocking runs. That's why we include that. Um, so again, that just shows how focused this board is on the overclocking. Um, you'll notice here the CPU socket and the two dim slots are not in the usual place. This is how it's going to be in your system. So your memory is actually to the top. Um, you may go, well, why, why would you do that? Um, it lets us put these power connectors here on the side. Um, we have a really big VRM here and a VRM heatsink. I mean, it, it dominates this section of the uh, motherboard. Um, but we've actually been able to get enough space here that you can get, you know, tower-sized uh, air coolers on here. And we think a lot of people will probably go open loop or uh, closed loop liquid cooling on these kind of systems. But we do give you that option if you want to go with an air-cooled system. You will notice there are only two dim slots. It is dual channel, so each one is independent channel. Um, but we're not tying together two slots into a single channel as you would on most motherboards. Uh, yes, that does limit some in some cases the amount of RAM that you can put in the board. Um, but again, this board is focused on extreme overclocking. And to get the maximum clocks out of your RAM, uh, you want to have just the one stick, so per channel. Uh, so that's how we've configured it on this motherboard. If you're somebody who needs um, more RAM and maybe you're not that focused on the overclocking aspect of your motherboard, uh, we do have a Z390 FTW uh, that would suit you very well and that does have all four DIMMs. Uh, but again, this is like a track focused weapon. This is designed for overclocking, pure and simple. We have USB up here. This is nice. Uh, this will actually let you flash the motherboard with no CPU installed. Um, this button right here, this probably looks like a clear CMOS button. It's actually cooler than that. What this is, is it, it's a basically go back CMOS button. So instead of clearing your CMOS, uh, you press that button when you have a failed post. Maybe you changed one setting. You change that one little bit of clock, you put it a little bit too high, and then suddenly the board will no longer post. Press this button, and instead of clearing your CMOS, and you have to put all those settings back in, it's going to go back one iteration of your CMOS, and it's going to go back to the last one that it posted. So that's really useful. Again, time-saving thing for an overclocker, because you're constantly tuning, fine-tuning little settings. You'll notice postcode readout here. There's two displays, though. Normally, you just have the one two-digit display. We have two two-digit displays, and that's because this can also show real-time voltage and temperature and cycle between the two. Um, this board is very beefy. It is a 10 layer PCB, extremely high quality. Um, yes, we focused very heavily on overclocking, but we didn't forget the creature comforts. Um, it's got really good creative audio chip on there. Um, you can see these big capacitors. These actually run uh, to the front panel audio and the front panel audio on here is um, what we have designated as new audio. Uh, we've released a new audio audio card uh, and it's just showing our focus here to high quality audio products. Um, so we have a special uh, front panel audio solution going into our Z390 motherboards and it's not exclusive to the dark. I'm gonna focus in here. There's a removable BIOS on this part of the motherboard and right next to it, there's a three-way BIOS switch. So there are three BIOS for redundancy. Um, there is a five a switch array here that allows you to turn off your PCI Express slots a very useful feature if you're trying to troubleshoot issues or um, if you need to say disable a card in an SLI or something and you pull power from it but you need the power to stop going from the board um, you can kill that uh, PCI Express slot using those dim switches and then this last switch you've probably not seen before um, this is a cool switch this works real time um, so if you're in Windows you can use this switch it's got two positions um, normal and then a base speed. It's like a turbo switch, um, but basically what it does is it locks your CPU down at the lowest possible frequency. So it's going to lock it down at that lower C state um, because there are instances where you're trying to, say you're trying to open up all your benchmarks and you're not certain of stability. Um, you can do that at low clock frequency and it's not going to affect anything, 
uh, get everything set up, and then flip the switch to put it into that overclock and then run your benchmarks. Um, that's how committed this board is to extreme overclocking because that could be a scenario where that overclock may only work for one or two passes of, a, of your benchmark run. So you want to be able to get those clocks down when you don't need them to be running at full and then switch it, get full clocks, and run those world-breaking uh, benchmark runs, we hope. Um, so this has just kind of been a quick unboxing and overview of the Z390 Dark Motherboard. Again, this is a very serious weapon. 10 layer PCB, 17 phase VRM, uh, and focused, focused, focused on overclocking and the best possible overclocking experience um, that you can have on the Z390 platform. Uh, this rounds out our uh, offerings on both the X299 Dark and now the Z390 Dark, bringing enthusiasts the performance that they want no matter which Intel platform they're looking to buy in. Uh, so thank you for watching this video. Uh, we're going to have some more cool videos like this. Uh, it's been a little bit of a dry spell on our channel, I'm sure you've noticed. Um, but uh, we're getting back to uh, making videos. It's a new year, a lot of cool content coming your way. Um, so please stay subscribed, hit that bell icon, and as soon as we have new uploads, we will bring you great new content on EVGA products. You have a good one.